Hi everyone, I'm Jenna. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the Bailey House Prefect this year. So this year for our well-being video, we decided to do something a little bit different. We wanted to focus more on a theme rather than an event. And we wanted this to be something where you just take the time to listen to it and you just kind of sit back, relax, step away from your day and just enjoy the video. So we chose the theme of mindfulness and gratitude and we wanted to show you different ways where you can sit down and be grateful. We put together a couple of poems, we put together different clips about what people are grateful for and we just really wanted this to be a very calming, relaxing experience for everyone. So. Personally, I've been really excited about this theme for a while. I love mindfulness. I even have coloring books and stuff like that. And I do a meditation every morning and every night. So I was really excited when other people wanted to do this theme as well. Um, and I really hope that you enjoy what we put together because we think that it's a really good thing and we hope that you think the same thing as well. We weren't anticipating going online. We actually started this video a little bit before the break because we didn't know how much time we would have after and then it became even more suitable when we went into lockdown. So whatever you're doing right now, step back from your day, take a breath and enjoy what we've put together for you. Thank you so much and have a good day. We at Appleby College acknowledge these lands on the shores of Lake Ontario are steeped in Indigenous history. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Anishinaabe peoples. Most recently, it has been a part of the Treaty Lands and Territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this traditional territory. Hi, I'm Savannah, and I'll be reading a poem entitled Joy in Life. You must be completely awake in the present to enjoy the tea. Only in the awareness of the present can your hands feel the pleasant warmth of the cup. Only in the present can you savour the aroma, taste the sweetness, appreciate the delicacy. If you are ruminating about the past or worrying about the future, you will completely miss the experience of enjoying the cup of tea. You will look down at the cup and the tea will be gone. Life is like that. If you are not fully present, you will look around and it will be gone. You will have missed the feel, the aroma, the delicacy and beauty of life. It will seem to be speeding past you. The past is finished. Learn from it and let it go. The future is not even here yet. Plan for it, but do not waste your time worrying about it. Worrying is worthless. When you stop ruminating about what has already happened, when you stop worrying about what might never happen, then you will be in the present moment. Then you will begin to experience joy in life. Hey Appleby, today for the Bailey Week Chapel Prelude, I'll be playing Waving Flag by Kanan. When I get older, I will be strong. I'm just like a waving flag and then it goes back then it goes back and then it goes back oh born to a throne stronger than Rome a violent prone poor people's own but it's my home all I have known where I got grown and the streets we would out of the darkness, I came the farthest, among the hardest surviving. Learn from these streets, it can be bleak, except no defeat, surrender, retreat. So we're struggling, fighting to eat, and we're wondering. When we'll be free, so we patiently wait for that faithful day. Love is the answer, that's what they say. When I get older, I'll be stronger. You'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And then it goes back, and then it goes back, and then it goes back. Oh, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. I know there are two sides.
Hits the World, two stories, one good and one bad. And you shouldn't ignore the bad. You should know it, but don't fall into it. The world is beautiful, life is beautiful, and hatred shouldn't be carried. So please go on gently, and remember to let all things that weigh you down go. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my friends and family. I'm grateful that I get to live with all my friends this year. <laughs> friends and family and the Applebee community. My family. And my friends. My daily friends and family. My family. Amazing friends and family and upcoming Christmas break. I'm grateful for my friendships. I'm grateful for my family. Friends and family. My family. For all the support that my friends and family gave me. Family and my roommate. I'm grateful for my roommate. For my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> roommate who's always there for me. My very supportive roommate. I'm grateful for my roommate Lauren for always being there for me and helping me out whenever I need her. I'm grateful for my quad mates who always keep me laughing. We're grateful for our quad. I am grateful for Maya. I am grateful for Maya. <laughs> I am grateful to be part of such an amazing community here at Appleby and especially in Bailey House. Oh, I have snow pants. I am grateful for Sodexo. Oh, and I am grateful for hot chocolate. <laughs> I am grateful for my Spotify playlists. I'm grateful for music. Hello, I'm grateful for being healthy. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm grateful for all the snow we've started to get and the activities you can do in winter. I'm grateful for music, homemade meals, relaxing walks outside, and my dog, Bella. I'm grateful that I'm going to be able to spend more time with my dog over the holidays. <laughs> we blue dogs, I am thankful for Wallace, so cute. I'm grateful for my cat. <laughs> I am grateful for the ability to walk and to be able to regain use of my knee again. I am grateful for the opportunity to learn from mistakes. My education and everything I've learned because of it. I'm grateful for everything I have. Hi everyone, this is The Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. The way a crow shipped down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I have grieved. Gratitude should not just be a reaction to getting what you want, but an all-the-time gratitude. The kind where you notice the little things and where you constantly look for the good, even in unpleasant situations. Start bringing gratitude to your experiences instead of waiting for a positive experience in order to feel grateful. A quote by Maralisa Fabrega.